Well, good morning. It's just so wonderful to join with you on this Friday morning. I don't know about you, but um, I'm really getting sick of lockdowns. I think we all are. Uh, when we had our first lockdown, I was quite excited. It was something new and different. Um, I started uh, having these Friday night gatherings with my family in my home where I'd have special cheese platters um, and all sorts of wonderful things. I then started theming Friday nights. We would go to France. We would uh, go to Germany. Uh, we would go to all sorts of different places in the world. But uh, this 5.0 lockdown has really rocked me. Uh, it has really shaken me. I am someone who loves to be around people. Uh, so I'm finding this really difficult. And last week, I wanted someone to blame. Should I blame uh, the removalists uh, from New South Wales? Uh, should I blame uh, the people in South Australia that gave us our lockdown in June? I was really looking for someone to blame. And that isn't a great thing to be doing. So when I read this passage uh, this morning, it teaches me a number of things. Please open this passage with me. Ephesians chapter 2, verses 1 to 10. As for you, you were dead in your transgressions and sins, in which you used to live when you followed the ways of this world, of the ruler of the kingdom of the air, the spirit who is now at work in those who are disobedient. All of us, also lived among them at one time, gratifying the cravings of our flesh and following its desires and thoughts. Like the rest, we were made by nature deserving of wrath. But because of his great love for us, God, who is rich in mercy, made us alive with Christ, even when we were dead in transgressions. It is by grace you have been saved." And God raised us up with Christ and seated us with him in the heavenly realms in Christ Jesus, in order that in the coming ages he might show the incomparable riches of his grace expressed in his kindness to us in Christ Jesus. For it is by grace that you have been saved through faith. And this is not from yourselves. It is a gift of God, not by works, so that no one can boast, for we are God's handiwork, created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God prepared in advance for us to do. Well, friends, this uh, reading teaches me that God has this marvellous grace for me, um, even though I think and do things that he is not happy with. Uh, he also has this abundant love for me, which is incredible. Um, and even when I'm thinking bad things about people that could have started this lockdown 5.0, um, our God is a God of grace and love and he forgives me. So friends, please remember that um, as you go about uh, your daily walk with God. Uh, that he loves you so much and cares for you so much. Um, and this passage just shows me that I am saved by grace in the most incredible and amazing way. Let me pray for us. Heavenly Father, thank you that you love us so much. Uh, thank you for what Paul has written in Ephesians. Uh, thank you that it is a reminder and a promise to us that if we believe in you, that uh, you will save us by your grace. And thank you for your abundant love that uh, overflows all over us. Amen.